Okay, so the lithosphere is the crust and the uppermost mantle, and it's what forms what we call the tectonic plates. And what's below it is the asthenosphere, and the asthenosphere is a much less viscous, meaning stiff or strong layer, than the lithosphere. So the lithosphere moves around rigidly or nearly rigidly, and the asthenosphere flows underneath it. And in, under the Colorado Plateau, the lithosphere was hydrated by um, a subduction event, and the hydration weakened the lithosphere, and then th there was a topographic gradient along the bottom of the lithosphere, uh, a asthenosphere boundary, and, the, and then along this gradient, melt started being produced in the asthenosphere, and they invaded the lithosphere, and when they froze, they tr transferred their heat to the lithosphere, which makes it less viscous or weaker, and they also froze in a dense phase, which made it denser. And after a while, the density became so great that it began to fall off. And ultimately, today, what we imaged was a long drip that's down about 250 kilometers in the mantle. And if we follow it back to the top, we see that it's not only yanked off all of the mantle, but it's also yanked off the bottom of the lower crust. And it looks very dramatic in this image, but this image is, has a four-to-one vertical exaggeration. If you look at the one-to-one, -one, it looks far more reasonable. This is just a little blob coming off. And this blob will eventually sink down hundreds of kilometers. But the net effect is it warms up what's above it, and it can produce uplift or it can produce subsidence. And in this case, it's produced uplift. And it just depends on combinations of densities and um, a variety of factors.